Skull, and welcome back my shield wall to our new campaign as we dive into a new role-playing story playing the Old Realms mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. That's right, we are back to one of my favorite mods and we are starting a new campaign. There was two polls last week. Number one poll was what game we should play and number two was the faction. So we will be entering the Old World once more which I am quite excited for. Because as you know, I am a Warhammer head, and I love the Old Realms mod. But, we are playing a faction I have yet to try with this mod, and I think it could be a lot of fun, especially role-playing wise. So, if you are interested in Warhammer, and you like role-playing campaigns, then you are in the right place. I'm going to do some new things with this campaign I haven't tried out before. I'm also going to try and edit it more so it's not a bunch of me running around. So, when it comes to culture, the faction we will be playing is Museon. Museon, the accursed state of, within the heart of Bretonia, casts a dark and ominous shadow over the land. Once a proud dukedom, it now stands as a grim testament to the corruption that lingers in the shadows. Ruled by the serpent of Museon, the serpent is Malobad, the realm of swamps and thickets contrasts against the vibrant setting of noble Britonia. Yet, even more tragic and unsettling are its mutated peasantry, ruled not by noble knights, but the twisted undead, whose black knights evoke a chilling blend of traditional Britonian martial prowess and unholy power. And we will be using that in our role-playing aspects, as we will be playing as a vampire knight of Britonia. Museon is a city of the cursed. It's been home to disputed knights, monsters, mutants, vampires, outlaws, outcasts from the Empire and Britonia. It is never the only place in Britonia that has vampires. That's a misconception due to the Warhammer Total War game. For example, the Red Duke is actually from Aquitaine, and the serpent they're talking about would actually be Malubad, but, I mean, that's just semantics. So, this is the newest version of this mod at this moment. They are working on the next part, which is going to add in new schools of magic as well as the Wood Elves as a race, I believe. So that will be coming out soon. This is still the second version of the mod, I believe, uh, with the whole Bretonia overhaul and everything. We did a Bretonia campaign like a year ago. If you want to check that out, that was a lot of fun with House Duveen as we tried to rise up in the ranks and ended up getting ranked. And absolutely getting wrecked. But today we try Museon and we dive in to this cursed realm. Alright, now we pick what we're going to look like. So it doesn't matter all too much because once we put on the vampire option, it's going to change how we look anyway. But I do want it to be a decent starting... Oh, there we go. Very Bretonian, very Bretonian. Look at him. That nice jawline, that weird shaped head. Very Bretonian. Let's see. I don't even care, that's good. Good. Eyes. Good. Little scar. Sure. Alright. That is our base. Choose your family's background. We come from a long line of exiled nobles. Your parents were of the nobility in Museon, if they can be called that. Nobles here are mo mostly made up of outlawed Bretonian nobles, exiles, and rogues from other nations. Vampires, mummies, and varied monstrosities. While certainly at the top of Museon society, outside of the blighted land, they are looked down upon the same as anyone else from here. I'm gonna go with that. Exiled. Who knows what our father did? Maybe he broke an oath, killed a nobleman, who knows? Teenage years, we stu a student of witchcraft. That's what we're doing different this time. Witchcraft and magic is rife in Museon. You became a student of one of these practitioners and worked on brews and potions until you were trusted to learn more arcane knowledge. I want spells. Your starting profession. Vampire of Museon. See, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. It changes how we will look anyway. The swamps prevent the land of chivalry from exerting their control over the cursed dukedom. As a result, many ne'er-do-wells find a kind of sanctuary in Museon, even the Lords of the Night. We're going to go with that. 
And then you can change your vampire a little bit. I'm just gonna go with... Yeah, we'll go with that one. All pale and blue. It looks all emaciated. Good. That will be our man. We will be playing on Bannerlord with Birth and Aging on. So everything will be realistic with the Bannerlord preset. And we will start. Now we must choose our sigil and house name. Huh. Having been exiled to Museon and being a vampire of the swamp, I think it's only fitting that we use something that shows that. I'm not sure. Kind of leaning, leaning towards the serpent or the scorpion. Oh, I know. The hound. We will be the hound of the marsh. Yes, the hound of the marsh. Background. Blue and red. Yeah. The hound of the marshes. As for our family name, I wonder what the French word is for hound. Let's look that up real quick. I feel like that could be a good name. Cheval. Cheval. Du. Oh, wait, no, that's. Chien de chasse. That is too long. Le chien. There we go. The sheen of the hound. There we go. Yeah. We're cooking with fire. Henry. That's who we were last time. Gilbert Jacques Duchin. Ooh, I like that. So we are of culture Mushnan. 5% more renown from battles. 15% more income while serving as a mercenary. 10% production bonus to villages that are bound to castles. Recruiting lords to armies cost 20% more influence. Museon nobility. Student of witchcraft. Vampire of Museon. Alright Jacques. It is time. Into the old realms. So the first thing we have to pick is choosing our vampiric bloodline. We can choose between Von Karsteins and Blood Knights. Being from exiled Bretonians, I think it's more fitting that we are Blood Knights. So we are going to confirm our bloodline as Blood Knights. So we are Blood Knights. So if we take a look at our career, you can see the Blood Knight skill tree here starting with Peerless Warrior. You can see the buff that will give us SWAT right off the bat. So the first one we will be able to unlock after getting some career points is increases hit points by 25. It's also a pretty good buff right off the bat there. Blood Knight. Sired by Abhorash, the Blood Knight is a dark mockery of everything noble or virtuous that can be said about their mortal counterparts. Where before the blood kiss there was honor is now cruelty. Faith turns into arrogance, and duty falls to wanton ambition. This is true of all vampires, but seems particularly tragic for the fallen knights of the old world. Career ability, we get the Red Fury. The Blood Knight is channeling focus and rage towards the enemies. Damage is increased by 45% and physical resistance by 10% for the next 6 seconds. Both bonuses increase with the skill of the equipped weapon by 0.05% per point. Requires 10 kills to be fully charged. Athletics, we're going to go with Morning Exercise instead of Well Built. It gives us the point th the plus 3% combat movement speed and plus 5% combat movement speed for the troops in our formation. Grab that. We have a skill point. I'm going to put that into one-handed since we start with a sword and no horse, I believe. Let's double check that. Yes, sword. 
no horse, and we are a vampire. All right. So we're surrounded by cultists, so we're going to try and get away from that. Oh, well, that didn't work. 155 gold. Oh, we're going to start getting blood dry. Yep. So many. There we go. Grab those peasants. So from here on, it will be similar to the other campaigns where we just have to try and get started going, you know. Oh. A century ago, the hills outside of Musion were used as mass graves to bury the thousands of died by red pox. So many victims were there that to this day the soil covered their pits is visible from the city walls. The air here is sometimes poisonous and like the rest of the cursed land, the long dead rest uneasily. Tap into the congealed essence of dark magic and bind some wraiths to your will? Uh, okay. I bound five spirits to my will. What? I got spirit hosts. Look at that. That's so cool. They turn into hex race and stuff. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Already, this is awesome, Shield Wall. Our vampire knight already has spirit. Oh, don't look at them. They're so cool. <laughs> awesome. Let's go to Le More Mort and see what we can recruit good. Get that. Gets us up to 15. Get some food. That's good for 8 days. We have 450 gold. Let's get out of here. Chase down that cultist. Nope. Oh. Oh, we got backup from Zay Gari, the dreaded. Fight us. Good. Let's attack. Into the sunlight, my precious. Forwards. Kill them. Look at the Cairn Wraith. Those are so cool. I will treat my men well. The Hound of the Marsh always treats his men well. Oh, that looks so good. Having this game cranked up with the mod. Oh, beautiful. Kill them all! Kill all the thieves! Yeah, we got to fight some. Ha-ha! Ooh, skeletons! Yeah, skeletons, you cost anything? You don't! Oh, wow, we're going to be able to grow our forces really fast and not have to pay anything. That's kind of awesome. There we go. Our power is growing, my shield wall. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hunt down those cultists. The Serpent of Museon, there he is himself. Oh, they're going to escape from us. Oh, a traveling merchant. While journeying along the dusty roads, a unique sight unfolds before your eyes. A colorful caravan from a mobile emporium amidst the quiet landscape. Uh, no thank you. Bye. <laughs> I wish to head to Museon. Charles the Fallen Knight. I would like to grab a companion, but we need to get our income up first. Let's see. Tactics. Probably be good. Another fool in this hour. Let's see how this goes. We're going to fight them. Fight them to the death. 
Kill them all. So we are going to be leading our infantry. Field wall. Why are you way over there? What the heck? Okay. I didn't realize that's weird. Well, that's not good. No! Yes! Yeah! Thank you, my undead. <laughs> they are so cool looking. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, yes. Raise their skeletons. Make them fight for us. Uh, yeah, you turned into archers. I need ranged. Good. Oh, some decent, decent stuff here. Take all that loot. Beautiful. Okay, this is gonna be really cool playing as a vampire. I'm digging this already. Hey. Oh. You. What you got in your bags? What are you carrying? I guess we can fight. I didn't want to. The balance of power is not in our favor here. I'll pay him off this time. We can ransom our prisoner and we can sell the stuff that we got. Yeah, that gets us a good amount of money, so that's okay. hundred gold look at that now we're at 1600 gold we need to raise more dead chase those cultists lead them sate your thirst Come on. Yes. Ooh, it's a little in their favor. Let us fight then. Shield wall. Hold. Charge. Oh. Yes. Oh, no, he whacked me. Get them. Okay, yeah, the archers and the Cairn Wraith should be able to finish this off. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Come on. Yes. Yes. Bring him down. Yes. Yes. We lost our undead though. That's unfortunate. Place it with a masterwork falchion. Two-handed, that could be, that's kind of cool. Slowly upgrading our stuff. Slowly but surely growing our power. Go to Gorges. 
Oh, nice. Let's see if we can raise more. Oh, we can. Yes. We got four spirits this time. Okay. There we go. So we're at about full strength. That skeleton sword we can sell, and it's not even that good, And but we get a lot of money for it. 46 physical damage. This does 63. Yeah, we'll sell that skeleton warrior sword. Another fool in the f I don't want any trouble. This time. Brings us to full strength. Ransom. Sell the stuff we don't need. Six. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We are good. I forgot. We need food. Actually, no. Ah, we'll get a little bit of food while we're here. Now then. Let's see what we can do. We'll head southeast here. Oh, the serpent. I want to introduce myself to my That's liege lord. Who are you? Name is Jacques, sir. May I ask your name? The serpent of Mousseon, Duke of Mousseon, Lord of Castle Mousseon. Goodbye. He seems to be on the warpath. to the trade I care not for your troubles Baston I have far more important things to tend to like killing these cultists Let's chase them. See what, if we can catch them. Oh! Ill-fated squires. Yes. There we go. Get rid of some of these peasants. We can have the squires. They can become our knights. Yes. Good. Another oh no. Fool. Whoops. There we go. Come on. Give me your blood. <laughs> I guess I'll just be hunting cultists for a while. Oh, a campfire. As it gets dark, you and your men set up camp. As the night goes on, you can see that the men have broken off into two groups. One seems to be telling war stories, while the other is just talking. What will you do? We talk about the ambush, we get plus 1000 XP for leadership, tactics, and roguery. If we talk about the great rulers, we get 1000 XP for a steward, leadership, and charm. Or all companions can be healed and all troops wounded restored. Let's talk about the ambush. Leadership, tactics, and roguery. Amid the crackling embers, a soldier's voice rose with a mischievous glint in his eye. The campfire's warm glow illuminated the eager face of his comrades as they settled in for the story. Gather round, men. The soldier said with a grin. And let me tell you about the ambush we survived. Picture this. A man slipped, necked. The enemy beastmen advancing unaware. Our plan was cunning, our movement swift. We struck with surprise and furiosity, turning the tide in our favor. The soldiers were transported to a scene of calculated cunning and swift execution. Laughter and nods of approval followed the tale's at conclusion. 
leaving the soldiers with a deeper understanding of tactics and the power of a well-executed ambush. <laughs> nice, and we leveled up from that. And we caught you. Good. I don't want you to surrender. I want your blood, cultist. Feed my men. The wall. Move spacing so you can shoot. Good. Let them come. We shall rain arrows. For they do not know, but they face the hound of the marsh. Charge! Oh, a beautiful slaughter. We lost one undead. Beautiful. New boots. Very good. The hound is pleased. So with that victory, our levy can start upgrading. I want... There we go. Peasant archers, militiamen. We will utilize them for their abilities. I have not lost all of my humanity, but I am only interested in what will serve me and Museon the best. How are we doing on food? We got eight days worth? Okay, good. Onwards! My valiant band. Bretonia will rule the day they outcast us. If you're going to keep pestering us, traveler, we might need to take a bit more coin from you. I want my revenge. You took my coin. I forgot about that. It's gonna be a close fight. Surrender or die. Very well. We feed. Forwards, lads. It is time to make good our due. They robbed us, and now we shall have justice. Bleed them for everything they have. Take their lifeblood. Alright. Good. Hold here. Go! Oh. Good, bring them down. Oh. There! Yes! Beautiful. The outlaws are no more. Ooh, skeletons to raise. Beautiful. Replenish my ranks. As an archer, you become longbows. Longbows become VN. Ill fated squires become outcast errants. Good, we have cavalry! And then Cairn Wraith. That solid front line. Look at them! That model is so cool. I can't get over that. Take them prisoner. Better armor. Gloves. Another cap. <laughs> Take it all. Well done, my hounds. You make the cultists pay at every step. We can help Gilmon. Ransom the prisoners. Let's do our trade real quick. Sell all that. How are we on food? 13 days worth of food. Good. 
get a horse. I need a saddle. There we go. Still gonna get 1165. Excellent. Excellent. We're at full strength. Let's just see what Gilma Guillam 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 French word. Let's see what he needs. Well, good day to you. So, who might you be? My name is Jacques, sir. May I ask your own name? Guillaume, I'm a craftsman, a working man. A lot of the other honest men here in Castle Museon, the ones that work with their hands, they sp let me speak for them. What is your problem? I don't know if you know much about the law here. The other side of the bargain is that they only offer us reasonable prices, but they're not doing that. They've come together and agreed on a price that's just too high. They don't care if they ruin us. Ah, I shall help the common man. Six loads of wool directly to me instead of selling to the merchants. So we're just going to bring six loads of wool. Okay. We should help him. He is one of my own, after all. If I wish to rule Musayan someday, I must have the people at my back. For if we are exiled together, we must live together. Or die together. Looking for wool. Looking for wool. Let's see what we can find. Oh, well, we found cultists. Cheap. We just need wool. I do like that they run from us now. Yes, run outlaws. Silk, not wool. Dang it. Ah! The serpent has extended our lands. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. I look forward to working for the serpent once we have risen in his ranks. Cross the river once more to Museon. Geyam, I am here. It's been a while. It has. Here is your wool. Very good. Good, very good. Let us meet Charles, the fallen knight. I think it is time we visit with him. Hi, so who are you then? My name is Jacques. Sir, tell me about yourself. You'd hear my story. I was one of those questing knights a long time ago, dedicating my entire life for that damned lady. But years pass. Quest after quest, kill after kill, she still does not think I am worthy, the bastard. But now, I no longer follow the road of religion and lip service. I instead look for whoever has the heaviest pouch of coin. Ah, oh, very intriguing. I could use someone like you in my company. 10,000 gold! Never mind, Charles, you are too expensive. Farewell. So I am waiting at Musion and healing up since we are at 45% health and while I do so we did get some new points to use. I'm going to do endurance for that one. We have three skill points. Do we have any career points? We have four career points now so we're going to go ahead and just stick those in. So with those we got four new buffs. Increase hit points by 25. Extra melee damage by 10%. Every two of tier 4 and above gains an extra 20% XP for kills and you gain 100 XP in one of the melee combat skills at random every day. We are going to be a great knight. Two-handed. Throwing. Scouting. Leadership. 
Combat tips or raise the meek. Combat tips. Plus two experience per day to all troops in our party, and plus one to troop tiers when recruiting from the same culture. Alright, we are at 94%, and our troops cost only 60 something a day, 68, 65 a day. So we're gonna go trade. Let's get ourselves some better armor while we're here, and some more fish or food for our men. We also need a shield. There we go. Jagged javelins. Fish. There we go. Cured studded leather armor. There. I think we should get a better helmet. That That's good. That looks so goofy. But it's very Bretonian. Look at that. Yes. It's also kind of got that undead aesthetic to it. Oh, I love it. It still has 37.50. And now that we are outfitted, I think it is time for Jacques to prove himself amongst the tourney. There's one lord and we can get a pike. Okay. Let us see. It is time to joust. We face a yeoman. I will bet on myself once. Let's go. Oh, we missed. Oh! My horse! Fine then. Come then, yeoman. Show me how you can fight. Oh, right, we have to go back to our sides first. Now, show me how you can fight. Oh, yes. Bleed for me, yeoman. <laughs> Good. Now we face another mounted yeoman. I'm feeling cocky. We'll bet one more time. Ride. Time for another pass. Gah. Ah. The bastard. He is a coward. Well, I demounted him. Come then. Wound me, will you? No! Ah, the bastard. I should have my vengeance, and we shall still prove ourselves. The age is young, and the night has not yet come. Let us find more enemies to bleed. In the name of Museon. A meadow. You and your party have been trudging along a winding path when the landscape gradually shifts. The air becomes gentler, the sounds more peaceful. And then you step into a clearing, and a gasp escapes your lips. Before you stretch as a meadow unlike any you've seen in a long while. The grass is a rich tapestry of green, waving softly in the breeze. 
A multitude of wildflowers paints the scene like vibrant hues of red, purple, and yellow. Silver moonlight filters through the tree canopy, bathing the meadow in warmth. A gentle aroma of blooming flowers perfumes the air. Birds serenade with their melodies, start filling the clearing with a symphony that feels like a balm to your weary spirit. What will your party do? Forge, hunt animals, or have your men rest? Uh, let's forge for wild plants. We got wild grain. Yay! And flax and grain. Okay. Uh oh. Another fool enters our domain. We will fight him. Bleed them. Kill them. Good, let's do this. Archers spread out. Cavalry. Do my bidding. Forwards. Hold. Loose your arrows. Forwards! Kill them all! No! We still are victorious. Come then, rise for me, skeletons. Rise and fight for me. Archers become longbows, longbows become VN. Good. Ooh, an even better hammer. Yes, I love using the hammer. Good. We got another skill point in one handed. Basher or wrapped handles. I like wrapped hand handles because I don't really use shield bash. It gives plus 20% handling to one handed weapons and plus 30 one handed skill to infantry troops in your formation. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go. Actually. I believe it is time for us to raise more. Come fight for me, you lost souls of the marsh. We got three. Okay. So yeah, we're at full strength. Good. Now we will head out for Museon. Sell our goods. Everything that we do not need. Still all that, yeah. Good. Let's look at our party. Longbow. Bien. Spirit host. We have our knight errants. We have roaming undead as our front line. Good, alright. An interesting makeup. Actually, it's a makeup that makes a lot of sense for uh, Museon. Go to Gorget. No, nothing good. Okay. We will head north. Oh, 
Oh, we've conquered a lot of new area. The serpent has been busy. I want those squires. I'll replace the undead. There we go. Yeah, they actually cost me money, but they'll be better once the, you know, in the long run. After those outlaws. Oop, that's a lot of outlaws. See if we can catch these. Yes! <laughs> Very good. Ride them down and bleed them dry. To arms, my hounds of the marsh. Let us fight. Four words! Yes! Death to them all! Death to the living! Grab one of those skeletons. We can't recruit any of these because that would put us over. Take them prisoner. Take this. We can sell it. Another band of outlaws put into the dirt to be raised again. Stand at base near Belves. Perhaps we could help you, Charles. Let us see. Well, good day to you. So, who might you be? I am Jacques. Who are you? Charles, I've lived all my life here, work in the land, and as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Belves, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. It is good to meet you. Yes, there's this old ruin, a place that offers a good view of the roads, and yet hard to reach. Needless to say, it attracts bandits. A new gang has moved in, and they have been giving hell to the caravans and travelers passing by. So you need someone to deal with these bastards. Any bandits there can easily spot and evade a large army moving across them. But... If you all can enter the hideout with a small group of determined warriors, you can catch them unaware. Any other way? Mm -hmm. I will go to the hideout. Farewell, Charles. When I come, these bandits will be nothing but puddles of blood. Death to the living. Bretonian nobles? What the... Get more ill-fated nobles. There is some of the enslaved warriors. And we march for the hideout. Good. Well done. Oh, that's a lot. I shall pay you off. Take your measly 300 gold. Care not for it. And we shall attack. This will be our final action for today, my shield wall. First, we put these bandits into the ground where they belong. We have one skill point. Uh... Spellcraft could be cool. We'll do that. Very well. Let us fight then. Two arms. I shall take... The longbows. That, yeah, that's good. 
the one's actually worth leveling up. To arms! Now then, let us finish this. Field wall, advance, follow, charge, and charge. Forwards, and stick together. These blood bags do not know what comes for them. The Hound of the Marsh hunts. Oh. Good, end them rightly. Good. Slaughter them all. And satiate your thirst. Not all of them. Good. That's a lot. I suppose it is up to me then. You, you cut quite a sword throat, my man. There, damn you! How about we settle this one on one? Very well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, the guards are with me, and I shall bleed all of you. We have won this day, my men. The Hound is proud of you. Huzzah, my shield wall. I'll take the skeletons. Take the prisoners. Outcast. The end. Good. Ah! Some good loot. Some stuff worth taking. Good. Very good. We got 3,000 gold for that. Now then. Back to Castle Musayan where we will stop for this day. That's so many bandits. Okay. <laughs> they pay no attention to us apparently. Museon. We are off to a grand start, my shield wall. I think we are growing quite well. We already have a decent band here. I look. I am really looking forward to this. This is a lot of fun with the vampire abilities and being able to raise people and not have to pay for them and everything. Plus, Museon is such a very interesting region, lore-wise. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to do. There we go. 68 days worth of food. Get 3,000 gold. Beautiful. That puts us at 17,000 gold. One episode in and we have 17,000 gold. 22 men. And we are already level like 5. Clan Dushin shall grow greatly so that we may become a house of Musayan. Yeah, Jacques is already level 5. Making his way to level 6. So I would say this is a really good place to stop in a very good first episode. So this is where we will stop within our old realm adventure. I hope you are enjoying today. And I hope you are looking forward to the rest of this Museon campaign. I hope you're liking my little bit of roleplay and my character speech and such. If you ever have any comments, suggestions, concerns, leave that in the comment section down below for me. I do read all of the comments and I really like talking to you guys. 
If you are curious what mods I'm using, or if you're curious what's going on with the channel, check out the links in the description of the video. Also, I would like to say, if you are interested in history, military history, or just history videos in general, consider checking out my channel. That's also linked in the description of the video. It's called Yarrow Baron's History Armada, and I make videos every Wednesday. Also, my Patreon is also in the link, as well as the channel membership. Speaking of my channel memberships, I'd like to say a shout out to my Huskar old tier. That is my tier 2 subscribers. That's a big skull, and thank you to Camelot and Twisted Fate. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. But, that is enough for me for today, so here we shall stop at Museon. As always, I am Jarl Bear. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Blood for the Blood God, blood for Museon. Mwahahaha! <laughs>